Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on 10 tips for network engineers who are preparing for interviews. Now in our channel on Network Engineer Stuff channel, you have seen guys a lot of videos uh, related to interview stuff. Uh, there's a dedicated playlist for that. So I thought that I should make a video where I should give some tips which I understand that a network engineer should consider when he is preparing for the interview. So the tip number one is to review network fundamentals. Now, uh, anybody who is preparing for a network engineer interview, whether it be of any level, uh, whether it be a fresher, experienced or you know, L1, L2 or L3 engineer, uh, I'll always suggest you know start with the basics if you know the basics that's good even if you know the basics before going for the interview please brush up the key concepts which are related to osi and tca tcp ip models uh brush up subnetting stuff uh subnetting is a very important i'll say a topic for the guys who are freshers or uh who are experienced but having a low experience uh, of two years three years so for those guys subnetting is a very important topic equally important is vlans uh, ip addressing what are public ip addresses which what is the range of private ip address so this kind of stuff because you will do go into advanced uh, networking topics that is good but at the same time to start Whenever you are starting with the network engineers uh, uh, interview preparation, you should start with this particular point that is brushing up the key concepts, the fundamentals. We have to keep our fundamentals strong to be a good network engineer. And also the routing protocols I've mentioned, yes, OSPF, BGP, EIGRP. Uh, guys who are new to my channel, you know, you can find dedicated videos on top 10 uh, interview questions related to this routing protocols ospf bgp eigrp again vlans stp hsrp so a lot of stuff i have already uh, made on this particular channel you can go and watch tip number two understand common protocols and ports why it is important to understand and to actually uh, summarize or to remember i'll say to memorize uh, this particular uh, uh, common protocols and port numbers because it's very important whenever you are going for an interview interview can judge you whether you know the port numbers common port numbers or not from that they'll judge whether you have done any troubleshooting stuff or not whether you have experience in the troubleshooting stuff or not, they'll judge you on the same. So it is very important to know the well-known port numbers. Some I have mentioned here that HTTP, uh, HTTPS, SSH, what are the protocols associated with that? So this is this is very important stuff uh, uh, to, to know. So I'll suggest that you just go through all the common port numbers and the associated protocols whenever you are preparing for the interview tip number three practice configurations a lot of uh, engineers uh, mainly l1 engineers uh, they have a complaint that they don't have access to the uh, to the to to their organizations network devices to the routers which is firewalls so so i'll to, for those uh, guys i'll suggest that do practice a configuration a lot of configurational stuff on this tools cisco packet tracer gns3 evng because these are uh, these tools are going to help you to basically practice these labs you will study uh, a lot of fundamentals what are a lot of concepts and everything but practicing lab is a completely different topic when it when it when it comes to be your uh, uh, your confidence level will of course uh, gets boost up when you are uh, practicing this labs so i'll suggest guys whoever are not using cisco packet tracer or gns3 I'll, I'll suggest them to use at whatever level you are working you know use these tools these are very useful tools for any network engineer a network engineer should have these tools in his laptop 
you know this is this is my suggestion because uh, you know practicing this confidential stuff whenever you are preparing for interviews also is very important and you'll get a good confidence whenever you practice labs so again you can focus if you are a very fresher guy or a, or a less experienced guy i'll say that you know you start with routers and switches you start with simple basic uh, configuration of uh, of vlans you can start with but you should practice something uh, if you are preparing for the interviews tip number 4 no key troubleshooting commands again this is related to this point that if you practice lot of stuff practice labs you are going to get used to this troubleshooting commands as well so it is very important uh, to very comfortable with uh, network troubleshooting commands like ping trace route ns lookup nat stat so this is very important and also be familiar with some cisco commands which are very common commands uh, that you know how will you view the routing table or how will you check whether that particular route is present in the routing table of the router or not so such kind of questions are there in the interview uh, and uh, you know the troubleshooting or the troubleshooting uh, tools what are you using such kind of questions are there in the interview so do prepare for that also do prepare with this with this key commands uh, uh, with this uh, uh, with this key troubleshooting commands i'll say whenever you are preparing for the interview tip number 5 uh many guys uh, who are working only on router and switches for years and they go in the interview and some question related to network security device is asked they will say no i don't know i have not worked on this but even if you are working on a uh, routing and switching and if you don't have access to any of the network uh, security uh, device or appliance to any firewalls i'll suggest that such guys should should always uh, you know try to figure out that how firewalls are working or how vpns are working what is ids what is ips you know the concepts uh, in encryption hashing and this kind of stuff because you know even if you are not worked on those devices but you should be know you should be thorough with the concepts and again we have the uh, practicing tools uh, Uh, where you can you know lab practicing tools like cisco packet tracer gns3 evng you can go and practice on those um, those uh, tools also this is very important because there are few, few profiles where uh, the organization is looking for a routing switching guy but with a little bit of network security experience so if you have that uh, that will is good and mostly those guys get selected you know if you have this uh, i always say that multi vendor multi platform experience guys always wins and they they are never without a job <laughs> they always get good job they always get good salaries so let's move to tip number 6 learn about network monitoring tools and other tools also it is very important that you are familiar uh, with tools many people do study a lot of osp of eigrp bgp dept and everything but when you are a network engineer when you are a fresher or an elven engineer be thorough with the tool which you are using for monitoring if you are an l2 engineer be thorough with how you are using how to use wireshark this is very important because whenever you are troubleshooting a deep dive troubleshooting interview knows that he might have used wireshark and he last question you on the wireshark how to apply any filter if you have cap, uh, how to capture the packets how to apply the filter so these are the questions which will be asked in interview so always be prepared as i mentioned over here be prepared to discuss how you sh- you use these tools to identify and troubleshoot network issues tip number 7 understand network design principles so whenever you are working you know in any organization you try to understand that how this particular uh, design is working this network design is working how ha high availability is achieved in this design how load balancing is achieved in this design so this is very important thing uh, to understand to understand the design of the network many times when you become experienced in uh, in this field of networking interviewers do judge 
you we uh, you with some network design uh, questions and at that time you know if you have a good approach of understanding the design how ha is achieved how load balancing achieved how redundancy is achieved so this kind of stuff is going to help you always in the interview so always have this point of view always have this angle whenever you are preparing for the network uh, interviews tip number 8 be ready to answer scenario based questions i know many guys face scenario based questions and and they do and they're not able to answer this scenario based questions because of simple reason that they're not prepared for scenario based questions they do read a lot of theory about the routing protocols and other stuffs and they're not prepared for scenario based questions so do figure out a lot of scenario based questions uh, you can go and you can see on my net on my on my this youtube channel you can see there are a lot of videos where i've prepared uh, troubleshooting um, scenarios where i've you know where where the scenarios are created or this there are some common scenarios which leads to some common uh, network troubleshooting st uh, stuffs also so in many interviews you go you will find the questions let's say this is a network this is a scenario interview interview me asks you this is a network this is a scenario how to troubleshoot if if this is not working if that stuff is not working there's a network outage how what you will do to improve the network performance of this particular network so this kind of step uh, this uh, this kind of questions are been asked in the interview and you should be prepared with the steps and uh, the tools to be used uh whenever you are answering this scenario based questions be familiar with documentation and compliance i won't say this is an important point but in some organization the interviewer are looking for the guy who have good documentation skills uh because in some organization they do require not only a network engineer but also uh the engineer who keeps good documentation kind of stuff so again if you are applying to such kind of a job uh, please do go through uh, a lot of steps are available on internet on related to documentation and uh, compliance and uh, change management there are a lot of certifications also uh, which are uh, which are related to this you can go through the certifications if you are planning or if you are interested in that kind of profiles also tip number 10 i think this is this is bit a interesting tip uh, mock interviews and common questions common questions guys you will find on internet especially on my youtube channel you will find a lot of common question top 10 uh, common question answers you will find a dedicated playlist and i'll recommend you know many people to go through those question question and answers because uh, many people have benefited from that so you can go through those uh, uh, those question and answers again Uh, mock interviews i'll say there are a lot of uh, online mock interviews stuff uh, you can go through that uh, again you can practice uh, this mock interviews with your friends you can tell some friend to take your mock interview and uh, and have a practice on that uh, again you can write me on this particular uh, uh, email uh, network engineer stuff at the gmail.com if you wanted to have a mock interview we do charge a little for that but yes you can you can go and you can write me uh, on this particular email address for mock interviews so guys uh, that's it in this video uh, best of luck for your interviews whoever are preparing for the network engineer interviews and uh, these are some tips which i thought i should share with you guys and uh, again best of luck for your interviews and let's meet in the next video till then bye thanks and have a nice day thank you